Hello everyone, welcome to this video on self driving cars. So we're gonna start by implementing the car movement. To my surprise, this was actually a little bit complicated than it seems to be, but I eventually got it to work. The next step is to add the racing tracks in our simulation. I wanted to be able to edit the curve of the race tracks. And for this, there's really a lot of ways we can do this. For example, we can use basic curves and I have a full video about its implementation in Python if you want to check it out, but this time I tried to use another method called Katmul Rom's line, which was originally formulated by Edwin Katmul and Raphael Rom, which can be evaluated using a recursive algorithm. It is a type of interpolating spline defined by four control points P0, P1, P2, and P3 with a curve drawn only from P1 to P2. This technique is commonly used in the computer graphic industry and in so many other things. So, let's say for example, you are making some AI agents in your game and you want it to move from point A to point B. You can use planes since you can just make the AI move along the curve that you define. So, I guess we can cheat here a little bit and make our car move along the curve. But uh, obviously, this is not what we are trying to do, so we are not going to do this. To generate actual tracks, we are just gonna need two more curves, one being offset at the top by the track width and another at the bottom. To get the mesh or polygons of the tracks, you are going to create triangles from the two new curves we just created. And with this, I basically have full control to the resolution of the curve by deciding how many points I want the curve to have. I added some different things to make it look a little bit decent. I also added a way to save the racing tracks by using the Pico library. And with this, we are pretty much done with the racing tracks. Before we start implementing the neural network, we're gonna need some car sensors and also a way to check if the car is colliding with the rest of the rails. Well, for the car collision check, we are going to consider a car as a rectangle and we're gonna check if any of the four lines of the rectangle is intersecting the lines of the race tracks. For this, we are going to use a formula that checks if the line is intersecting with another line. Here is the formula. So I added the formulas and I also made it so it can display a small red circle if it intersects with the rest track rails. And now, as you can see, the intersection is working properly. Now for the sensors, we're gonna just need 5 of them for now, maybe I should add more, but this is gonna do just fine. We're gonna also use the same formula for the line intersection, since not only this formula tells us if two lines intersect with each other, but it also gives us the exact points of intersection which we need for our sensor. The only thing left to do is to implement the NEAT algorithm. What is the NEAT algorithm my task? NEAT stands for Neural Evolution of Augmented Topologies. It is a method for evolving artificial neural networks with a genetic algorithm. NEAT implements the idea that it is most effective to start evolution with small, simple neural networks and allow them to become increasingly complex over generations. So basically, it's kind of a combination of the neural networks and the genetic algorithm. Well, a neural network is a series of algorithms that endeavors to recognize underlying relationships in a set of data through a process that mimics the way the human brain operates. In this sense, the neural networks refer to systems of neurons, either organic or artificial in nature. It is a collection of node layers containing an input layer, one or more hidden layers, and an output layer. In our case, you only have five input nodes, being our sensors, and two output nodes, which gonna help us decide if we should go right or left. Each node connects to another and has an associated weight and threshold. If the output of any individual node is above the specified threshold value, that node is activated using an activation function sending data to the next layer of the network. Otherwise, no data is passed along the next layer of the network. And the genetic algorithm is a method for solving optimization problems based on the natural selection process that mimics biological evolution. The process of natural selection starts with the selection of the fittest individual from a population. They produce offspring, which inherit the characteristics of the parents. In our case, this characteristics is the weight to pass in the neural networks and will be added to the next generation. If parents have better fitness, their offspring will be better than parents and have a better chance at surviving. This process keeps on iterating and at the end, a generation with the fittest car will be found. 
To make my life much simpler, I just use the Python lib library, which take care of the lit algorithms for me. But if you want to implement it by yourself, I'm gonna leave the link for both my implementation of the neural network and the genetic algorithm from scratch. And uh, with that, we are done. We just have to wait to see the fittest. I'm gonna leave it here for now, but if you want to make a better AI than this, you should probably let the neural network decide when to accelerate, when to take a break, and when to reverse by passing more values in the input layer, like the steering of the car and its velocity, and uh, probably get more outputs. That's gonna be it for today, the link for the code is in the description, it's open source, so you're welcome to help. Thanks for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.